Okay, we're going to walk through creating a campaign in your first encounter here in Shard. So you can see here on my screen, I have several campaigns already and several characters and so on. But here I'm just going to create a new campaign. We'll give it kind of any name we like. We'll just call this one Demo. And I'll start with the Adventure Mode screen here, uh, all empty. There's no players that have been into this campaign because it's brand new. Uh, there are no maps yet and no books. But we're going to start with a uh, very simple uploading a map. Now we could search the web for a map or pick a map directly um, from some of the ones that are that come with Shard. So there's several maps that come with, and uh, we could uh, search for a map on the web if we wanted. Here I'm just going to go ahead and upload a map because I have one in mind for this session. Uh, right here for this folder, I'm going to choose the green version of this particular map. I'm going to Wait for it to upload here and set some settings on the map. All right, so I actually want to change the name to Crystal Cavern and set the map type to be a battle map. And I actually happen to know the artist here used 85 pixels as the Resolution here, so you can see my map's uh, 90 by 120, which is uh, quite a nice battle map size. And we want to save that. And then I'm going to go start creating encounters. You know, it's it, it's dark, that's because it's fogged out. If we wanted to unfog it, we could. I'm just going to clear a little area of fog in the entrance here for the party when they come in. So I'm going to clear a uh, circle there. That's where my characters are going to start their journey. Uh, and then I'll switch back over to the pointer token here and I'm going to create some encounters. And I have in mind creating two encounters for this map. One that's the creature that's actually inhabiting this cage and then another one that will start when a character, or when a, a monster that's coming from this other area is going to start with. Primary inhabitants of this cave complex I've decided are uh, hill giants. My party is Tonight, quite large. It's uh, seven characters of fifth level, so they can handle some challenging monsters. So we're going to go ahead and create a new encounter here. It'll automatically call it Crystal Cavern, which is fine with me. And we're going to add the monsters. And like I said, I've decided on Hill Giants, so I'm just going to search for Hill Giants. I select that, select two of them, and say Add the monsters. I'll show up in the tracker over here. The tokens go onto the board. Uh, these will not be visible to the players until I activate the encounter. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and put them on the board here. Uh, that's where they'll enter the, the game board. Uh, quite large creatures. Uh, two CR5 creatures should present quite a challenge for a party. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll see. So that's the, I've created my first encounter. Uh, if I want to add some treasure here, I can add treasure. Uh, let's just give them some gold pieces. So I'll give them, I don't know, 80 gold pieces or something, which is not a lot. Um, and then let's pick a treasure token to associate it with. Uh, a rock pile seems appropriate for uh, these monsters. And then we can also add an item or two. So what should we uh, put into our, our uh, treasure hoard here? Seems like the sword from some broken adventurer. We probably want it to be magical. I'll give it an uncommon or rare sword. Uh, Dragon Slayer, Flame Tongue Longsword. Let's do a Flame Tongue Longsword. Just add that to our, our treasure. And now we have a treasure that consists of 80 gold and a Flame Tongue Longsword. And it's attached to this treasure token, which we can save here. And then you'll see it appeared on the board here. I'm just going to put it up kind of up out of the way here, move this token over here, and I'm actually going to hide it because I don't need the, the token to be visible. It's just something that they're going to search for and, uh, and hopefully find if they defeat these giants. All right, so that's my, uh, my first encounter. We'll uh, close that off and go ahead and create a second one. So I'm going to create an encounter, the initial encounter in this cave, and for that one, it's another new encounter. We'll call it uh, Crystal Cavern uh, 
called by because I know that's the creature I'm going to choose. So I'm going to uh, choose a custom monster that I've built here called a Kalba. It's uh, basically a, something between a crocodile and a large crocodile. Um, and I'm going to put three of them, three CR2s here, because again, I've got seven players, a level five. And so I don't want this encounter to really be that difficult, but I want to soften them up a bit, create a bunch of noise, attract the hill giants. All right, so... Here we'll add those monsters to the to the tracker. They're not going to have any treasure. I want to put one in this pool of water, one in sort of that pool of water, third one over here in this pool of water, and we'll hide them initially uh, because they're submerged below the water, so they're not visible even if the party can see the water. So even after I activate this encounter, the monsters will be hidden. And uh, that's that. So that's two encounters created and the map chosen, a little fogged area and so forth to do. Last thing I need to do is invite my players. So I'm going to invite the players. I can either send email, uh, which will automatically generate an email with uh, the link in it and says, hey, you've been invited to play a game on Shard Tabletop. You can send your email recipients. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to cancel out of that and here I'm going to copy and paste this over to discord so I'm just going to copy my link there it's now in my clipboard and I'm ready to go all right that's that for that tutorial and we'll be back mm -hmm.